Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about a very unique operating system. But this operating system is based on Linux and it looks and feels exactly like Windows. So if you're planning to move to Linux and you are used to using Windows, then this OS is for you. The operating system that I'm talking about is Andean OS. And in today's video, we will be testing it on VirtualBox. So if you're planning to test it and install Andean OS on VirtualBox, then this guide is for you. So let's get started. First, open any browser and search Download VirtualBox and open the first official link. So this is the official VirtualBox website from where you can download the install file. Under VirtualBox platform packages, click on the Windows host and download the installer file. As I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. The next step is to download the VirtualBox extension pack file. Just click on accept and download and save the VirtualBox extension pack file on your desktop. Now, we will be downloading the Andean OS ISO 5. So I will provide all the download links in the video description below. So currently, Andean OS has three released versions. The first one is the Jammy Jellyfish. The next one is Noble Numbat and the latest one is Plucky Puffy. So if you're looking for a stable version of Andean OS, you can download the Noble Numbat version. But for this tutorial, I will be downloading the latest version, which is Plucky Puffing. So just click on the direct download button and save the file to your desktop. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. Alternatively, you can also use the torrent links to download the Andean OS ISO files. So once the files are downloaded, close your browser. Now we have these three files. The first one is the VirtualBox installer file. Then we have the VirtualBox extension pack. And the last one is the Andean OS ISO file. First, we start by installing the VirtualBox application. Just double click on the installer file and proceed with the installation steps. The steps are very simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions and install VirtualBox on your Windows. Once installed, the next step is to run the VirtualBox extension pack file. Just double click on it and it will open up your VirtualBox with a popper. Here, just click on the install button to install the VirtualBox extension pack file. Now we are ready to create our Andean OS virtual machine. Start by clicking on new. Now you have to put in a name for your virtual machine. You can keep it anything that you like. So I will be keeping it Andean OS by TagRichard.com. Under ISO images, click on the downward arrow and select others. Now, locate your Andean OS ISO file that you have downloaded previously. Once selected, click on open. Under type, keep it as Linux. Under subtype, select Ubuntu. And under version, keep it as Ubuntu 64-bit. Now click on hardware and under base memory, keep it somewhere around 8 gigs. Make sure it's under a specific green limit. Under processors, set the number of processors to 4. Once everything is done, click on the finish button. Now, click on settings. Under general, go to advance and then set bidirectional on both shared clipboard and drag and drop. Scroll down below to display and increase your video memory to the maximum available limit. I am keeping it around 110 MBs. Keep everything as default and click on OK. Now your Indian OS virtual machine is ready. Just click on the start button to start your Indian OS. So here you will see these two options. Just select 
try and install Andean OS and press enter. So this will take around a while and then you will be booted into your Andean OS. As you can see that your window is very small. To make it bigger, just click on view and then select scaled mode. Now double click on the windows tab to make it to full screen. So this is the first look of Andean OS. If you simply want to test it, you can do it right here. But if you wish to install it on your hard drive, you need to double click on the install Andean 1.3.1. These are the basic installation steps of Indian OS. Here, select your language and click on continue. Now select your keyboard layout and then click on continue again. Tick both these checkboxes for updates and other software and then click on continue. Under installation type, select erase disk and install Indian OS and then click on install now. Write changes to a disk by clicking on the continue button. Now select your location for your time zone and click on continue. Now it's time to create a user account. Just type in your name, your username followed by your password for your account. Once everything is done, click on continue now, this will take around a while until the installation of Indian OS is successful. For me, it took around 4 minutes for the complete installation. This is one major advantage of using Indian OS, as it is lightweight, very fast and easy to install. The total disk space consumed by Indian OS is around 26 gigs. Moving on, once the installation is complete, click on the Restart Now button. Once you reach this screen, just press enter to reboot. Once the system is rebooted, you will see this login page. Just select your user account, type in your password and press enter. So congratulations, you have successfully installed Indian OS on VirtualBox in your Windows PC. To adjust the screen resolution, right click on your desktop and click on display settings. Under Resolution, select the one that you prefer. So I will keep this and then click on the Apply button. Now click on Start and then click on Console. So this will open up your terminal. Now type in your following commands. Once typed, press enter. Now type in your password and press enter again. So this will now update all your Linux headers and other applications. To install any software, you can click on the software icon on the taskbar. So this is more like your app store from which you can install any software that you wish to use. Andean OS uses Flatpak for the graphical applications. You can explore these apps that you wish to install on your Andean OS. So if we compare it with our Windows, the start menu on the Endium OS is exactly the same as our on Windows. So if we talk about the file explorer, it's more or likely exactly the same on the Endium OS. If you also look at the settings, you will find it very similar to your Windows. So in short, if you are used to using Windows and you plan on shifting to Linux, then Indian OS is the right fit for you. It does an outstanding job in terms of performance, user interface and developer workflows, while still maintaining the same level of simplicity that you found most on the genome-based Linux distributions. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you face any issues, just comment below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like these. I'll see you in the next one.